Hi there, Adrian Salisbury, and welcome to another Ecamm Live tutorial. In this one, we're going to look at equipment and some options for you to upgrade. By default, this is me using the webcam inside my monitor, and uh, the audio would be coming straight off of the display monitor here as well. Uh, but as you can see, you know, what a difference that makes when we upgrade this camera. So, what options have you got? Well, I'm using here a Panasonic camera through a HDMI lead. So I can have a HDMI cable come out of my camera, but it won't go into my Mac. There's no input for it, so I need to have a converter. I've linked to one in the description below. These things are designed to take your HDMI signal and give you a USB input to plug into your computer. And then as you can see from mine here, when I use this camera, I come up on here and uh, the one that I'm using, this is the name that it gives it, USB Capture HDMI. And that's the feed that is coming straight through from my camera. Now, because of the camera I'm using, I've got a microphone attached to the camera and that is also coming through as my feed. So when I look on my Mac, it's the same input that's coming through. But there are other options for both. If you have a Canon DSLR camera like this one, then you can use this. And very simply, you can plug into the USB slot on the side. You can put your other end of your USB into your computer. Pretty much any model of a Canon DSLR camera will work if it's got EOS at the front. There are more details on the Ecamm support page if you want help on that. And then when I turn this on, it will be seen as a feed coming in. So uh, cameras at the top here, look, Canon 1300D. And uh, now I've just got another camera coming through. The challenge with this one is uh, me focusing. So I, I can do it here, just about. There it is, it's happy there. So now I've got this feed coming in and this comes in straight from my Canon. I'm just gonna pop this on a tripod. Now, if you're a Canon user, this is a big deal. I mentioned in another video in this playlist about the virtual cam, and it will allow you now to use Ecamm and go out and use this same setting out to Zoom, or anywhere else that you're live streaming and want to be able to use this camera as your feed instead of the webcam. So there are your three options. I've got my Canon camera, I've got my HDMI camera, and I've got my web camera all coming through here. And obviously you could just get a USB webcam and plug that in, um, that's gonna do a kind of halfway job for you. What you won't get on that webcam is this depth of field that blurs out the background like these two cameras are giving me. And if you wanna learn how to get a quality like this coming through on your camera, all the settings, getting everything up and running, well, that's what I teach inside my Pro Video Academy. Again, details to that in the description below. Okay, so now let's talk audio. If you've improved the video quality, then you're gonna to wanna to improve the audio. People are very unforgiving if you've got bad audio. It's very frustrating to listen to a video that is either too quiet or it's just bad sound. The simplest thing you can do to upgrade from just using your Max microphone um, is just to grab something like this as a USB mic. I did have a <laughs> Yeti Snowball, but I realized I lent it out to someone because I hardly ever use the thing. Now, these are just a USB input, so that will go straight in. And as you can see down here, under my sound levels, I have an option to switch across. This is my Samsung C01U. Um, when I click over to that, it's now bringing in the feed from that. Not that it makes any difference to you because you're hearing this through my camera. Now, I can, you can see down here, I can adjust this volume level. If you find when you open this up and it's really quiet, then you might want to open up your system preferences, which you access from the Apple at the top, come over to your input, choose the different microphone that you're using, and you can adjust the input level on here and get it to um, you know, be just spiking near the top. Okay, so that's how you bring in a microphone and use that. What I would just say is, don't do what I see people doing all the time. Yes, when you're podcasting, this thing is supposed to be as close to your face as possible, but please don't do a live recording with a microphone sitting in front of you. Okay, so that's given you a few options for your cameras and microphones. How easy is that just to set it up? So don't be limited. Uh, you're using fantastic software here. You've got lots of options to look very professional when you go live. So why don't you get the camera and the audio set up properly too? Uh, really look like a pro when you go live.